Okay, so the investment set up. This is two hours later after we poured the investment and vacuumed out all the air pockets out of the flask. We're going to simply take off this little um, tape here, which is nothing more than a spill barrier, so the investment doesn't pour out when it's in the liquid form. And we have that rubber sprue base on the bottom. I'm just going to pop that off real quick. So this is this is the top of the mold, and that is the bottom of the mold. You'll see the little wax sprue that is on the bottom of the wax ring. Now we're going to take this over. We're going to put it in the this burnout kiln right here. This is a smaller burnout kiln, one of uh, two kilns that I have, and uh, works great for casting uh, anywhere from four, uh, right, right around four flasks. But this is a uh, I'm just doing this one for example. This is that gold ring that we're going to be casting. And I'll put it in the, the kiln. I'll set my settings. Right now it's idle at 69 degrees. It's going to be four segments. The first one's going to run up to 340 degrees. We're going to hold it at 300 degrees. It's going to pop down to 300 degrees. It's going to hold there for two hours. Now we're going to go up to 750. It's going to come down to 700 degrees. It's going to hold for another two hours. We're going to go up to 1350. It's going to hold at 1350 for three hours. And then we allow it to drop to 1000 degrees. And the cool thing is with this kiln right here, the even heat, it will hold that casting temperature for 20 hours. So if I'm away, I don't have to babysit the kiln. It will go to the proper casting temperature and hold there for 20 hours. And the reason I put it on hold for 20 hours is if, I, if ever I'm stepping out and uh, I don't have time to grab that flask to cast it at the time. So that's, um, that's about it. I'm going to um, leave that in the kiln and uh, we'll cast that uh, later on. So, there we go.